The Belco experiment will open tomorrow night in North America in around 1,250 to 1,300 theaters. The film is another offering from BH Tilt, this time partnered with Orion Pictures, a distribution arm of MGM. So it has nothing to do with Universal, Comcast Corporation The film premiered at last year's Toronto International Film Festival's Midnight Madness before getting acquired. BH Tilt is a label from intended to give horror films something between a super wide release and a VOD debut. The films go out in theaters specifically chosen for their horror friendly demographics. The Belko experiment is a nasty little piece of work. That shouldn't TV a surprise considering it comes courtesy of director Greg McLean, Wolf Greek, and screenwriter James Gunn, Slither, Super and Walt Disney's most violent movie ever Guardians of the Galaxy. It has a great concept at its core, with 80 innocent office workers in a secluded high-rise in the middle of nowhere being forced to kill each other. And, at its best, it builds a genuine sense of dread reminiscent of a Stephen King story. The Belko experiment isn't too scary because we don't know what to expect. It is scary because we are aware of exactly what s coming and see no logical exit. The swiftly paced 88-minute drama, including credits, makes short work of establishing its core cast of characters. It helps that more than a few familiar faces playing to type. Our lead is John Gallagher Jr. as a white-collar employee who notices that something is amiss just a little bit too late to help himself or his co-worker and girlfriend, Audrey Arjona. Tony Goldwyn, who hasn't aged a day since Ghost, and John C. McGinley, returning to his pre-scrubs snarky-ass hat persona, represent upper management while Michael Rooker is one of the maintenance men, and Melanie Diaz is starting her first day with the company.